Hello viewers, we have been discussing some questions related to English literature for our upcoming exams such as MA in English Entrance Test, PhD in English Entrance Test, NET exam, SLED exam and then SET exam. So in this process we have already solved so many questions and this is uh, part 7 of that series that we have been running for a long time. So let's begin the discussion for today's video. So in our last video we have discussed how we can solve questions though we have no idea about that. But through our intellectual guess and uh, our own mental capacity to connect the dot, we have to solve a question. So that kind of thing we have discussed. The same thing I would like to reiterate in today's video too. And you have to focus on that. So let's begin the first question of today's video. And the first question is 21. It says... Which among the following works by John Bunyan is not an allegory? Which among the following works by John Bunyan is not an allegory? I hope you know what is allegory. So options are the life and death of me, Mr. Batman, Pilgrim's Progress, Grace Abounding, John Crown. So correct answer will be C. Okay. Grace Abounding. Grace Abounding is the correct answer. Sorry, this is the correct answer. Grace amounting, not this. Uh, let's go to second question. It uh, it says, match the British playwrights in list one with their plays in list B. List one uh, or list A and list B. In list A we have playwright name, and in list B we have play name. John Osborne, Edward Bond, Tom Stoppard, Harold Pinter, The Lover, Travis Sides, a Patriot for me, the Pope's wedding. So let's find out the correct answer of this uh, question. Correct answer will be number D. Okay, that means A will be connected to three. A three. John Osborne, a patriot, a patriot for me, and B four. Edward Bond, the Pope's wedding. C two. Tom Stopper, Travis Sites. D one. Harold Pinter, the lover. Okay, this is the correct answer. That is D. Okay, now let's go to the next question. It says, In which poem does Dryden compare Charles II with Emperor Augustus? So, Dryden has important place in English literary realm. So, you have to know his literary writings. I think you have studied so many works of him. But still, try to know his biographical details also along with his writings. So, in which poems does Dryden compare Charles II with Emperor Augustus, the Hin and the Panther, Annas Mirabilis, Estria Redux, Religio Lyci? So, correct answer of these questions will be C, that is Astria Redux. Astria Redux is the correct answer. Next question, it says, who wrote Diana of the Crossways? Who wrote Diana of the Crossways? Charles Dickens, William Thackeray, George Meredith, Charles Kingsley. So, correct answer will be George Meredith. Okay. George George Meredith, he was the writer who wrote Diana of the Crossroads. Next question we have is, which novel inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula? Which novel inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula? Things as they are or the adventures of Caleb Williams, the monk a romance, the vampire, Bhatek. So, what is the correct answer? So the correct answer of this question will be number C, that is the vampire. Let's move on to the next question. It says, 
which is considered to be the first detective novel in English. So you have to also know the history of English novel, history of English poetry, history of English plays. Okay, that's why uh, if you are conscious about that, then you can solve the question easily. So here the question is, which is considered to be the first detective novels in English? The Moonstone, A Study in Scarlet, The Sign of Four, The, the Notting Hill, 26. So correct answer of this question will be A, that is the Moonstone. Moonstone is the correct answer. Next question we have is, the title of which novel included the following words, translated by William Marshall, gent from the original Italian of Onufrio Muralto. Translated by William Marshall, gent from the or original Italian of Onufrio Muralto, the castle of Otranto, castle dangerous, castle recurrent, the monk. What is the correct op option? Correct option is A, that is the castle of Otranto. This is the correct answer. Next question we have is Mario Vargas Losa. Mario Vargas Losa is not the author of which of the following? The Dream Below the Sun, The Time of the Hero, The Greenhouse, Aunt Julia and a Scriptwriter. Correct answer is A, The Dream Below the Sun. Okay. She is not the author of this work. But the rest, The Time of the Hero, The Greenhouse, Aunt Julia and a Scriptwriter. So these are written by Mario Vargas Losa. Next question. 29 it says name the author of the book the awakening mary sedgwick grace king kate chopin sarah orn jill jute what is the correct answer c cat chopin cat chopin is the correct answer next question is 30 it says in which novel does kazuo isiguro Isiguro use the third person narrative mode. I think you all know about Kazuo Isiguro. Uh, he is a Japanese English writer, if I'm not wrong. Please verify it. And he is known for his so many works like The Remains of the Day. So that was also adapted into a movie. Okay. Uh, and that was the character was played by a famous Hollywood actor uh, Anthony Hopkins if I'm not wrong so uh, let us try to find this question's answer in which novel does Kazuo Ishiguro use the third person narrative mode when we were orphans and artists of the floating world the unconsoled the buried giant correct answer of this question will be D that is the buried giant Okay, now let us go to next question. It says, match the authors in list A with their works in list B according to the quotes given. We have two lists, list A, in list A we have author name, in list 2 we have, sorry list B we have their literary creation name. Graham Greene, E.M. Foster, William Golding, D.S. Lawrence, all are Im important, go through their works. Darkness Visible, The Plum Serpent, Our Man in Havana, Maurice. So options are like this. Below options are given. Now let's try to find out the correct answer of this question. Correct answer will be A. That means Graham Gin is related to tree, Our Man in Havana. B4, E.M. Foster is related to Maurice. C1, William Golding is related to Darkness Visible. D2, D.S. Lawrence is related to the plum serpent. Got it? So this is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's go to the next question. Uh, next question says, which of the following is an example of emblem poetry? Which of the following is the is an example of emblem poetry. John Don's The Good Morrow, George Herbert's Easter Wings, Don's The Flea, George Herbert's The Collar. What will be the correct answer? 
correct answer of this question will be B. Herbert Easter Wings. This is the correct answer. The rest are also Im important. So, so, so please try to find out. Okay. Uh, we have reached till question number question number 32 right now let's go to solve number 33 it says which poem begins with the following lines which poem begins with the following lines in a summer season when the sun was mild i clad myself in clothes as i would become a sheep purity the legion of good women the vision of pious plowman pearl all are important correct answer is c that is the vision of pierce plowman the vision of pierce plowman next question uh, 34 it says match the books in list a with their authors in list b according to the codes given below list a and list b shakespearean negotiations alternative shakespeare shakespeare's political shakespeare a feminist companion to shakespeare in list B, we have writer name John Drakakis, Stephen Greenblatt, Diamond Callaghan, Jonathan Dolimore, and Alan Sinfield. So, what will be the correct answer of 34? Correct answer will be A, that is A2. Shakespearean negotiations will be related to Stephen Greenblatt. B, uh, B1. B1 means alternative sex is related to John Drakakis. C4 political sex is related to Jonathan Dolimore and Alan Sinfield. D3 a feminist companion to sex is related to uh, Damni Callaghan. Callaghan. Sorry for the pronunciation. Next question Who among the following is not a Jacobin dramatist? So we must study about. Uh, English literary period uh, along with English history we without knowing English history you will not be able to understand English literature in some context therefore it is uh, a kind of man mandatory thing to study the English history okay then only you can connect the history with the literary works just like that we have who among the following is not a jacobin dramatist jacobin uh, period is known for its works literary works john webster francis bimont thomas otway thomas decker 35 correct answer of this question is c that is thomas otway thomas otway is the correct answer Next question we have is the dedication of which poem begins with the following lines Bob Saudi, you are a poet, poet laureate, and representative of all the race. Don Juan, Revolt of Islam, Lamia, Child Day Herald's Pilgrimage. The de dedication of which poem begins with these following lines Bob Saudi, you are a poet, poet laureate, and representative of all, uh, representative of all race. Correct answer is a don juan if you have not read not read then you must read read don juan okay apart from that revolt of islam lamia uh, child herald's pilgrimage these are also very significant number 37 it says match the contemporary british authors in list a with their countries of origin in list b oh, oh, Biscuits, sir. match the contemporary british authors in list a with their countries of origin in list b in list a we have author name like uh, abdul rajak gurna then in list b we have the country name buchi emicheta Carol phillips Benjamin Jeffania. So, for me, the names are hard to pronounce, and I am sorry for that. Jamaica, Tanzania, Saint Kitts, West Indies. So, let's try to find out the correct answer of question number 37. 
uh, it, it, it is C uh, that, that means A3 Abdul Raja Gurna it is related to Tanzania I think you have heard his name he has won a Nobel Prize in literature recently very recently next we have B1 Buchi Amicheta Nigeria C4 Carol Phillips San Kids West Indies D2 Benjamin Jafania is related to Jamaica okay now next question 38 it says from which poem by WB Yates did Chinua achieve take the title things fall apart so these two are known for their masterpieces you all know so read it if you have not read it before Byzantium sailing to Byzantium the tower the second coming all all of his poems are very notable you have to study so correct answer of this question will be uh, D the second coming it's a remarkable poem composed by WB Yeats William Butler Yeats 39 with which poem does the 1800 version of the lyrical ballads begin lyrical ballads so this is a groundbreaking work that has uh, created or you can say revival of romantic age so this is a uh, breakthrough you must know about it so options are like this the rhyme of the ancient mariner lines written a few miles above tintern abbey ex expostulation and reply michael correct answer will be c that is ex expostulation and reply number 40 this will be the last question for today's discussion and in our upcoming class we will try to do from 41 who among the following responded to peacocks the four ages of poetry who among the following responded to peacocks the four ages of poetry Coleridge, Wordsworth, Keith, Sally who is the correct answer so correct answer of this question will be number D that is PB Sally I hope you have heard his name these all writers uh, from the one uh, from number one Coleridge, Wordsworth, Keith, Sally these all are related to romantic age and they all were romantic poets okay and they are important for their contribution in romantic poetry and you have to know about them too so that's all for today i hope you will continue your preparation thank you so much hello viewers we have been discussing questions related to english lit literature that are important or that can help us in our preparation for ma in english entrance test phd in english entrance test or SLAT exam or SAT exam or NET exam so in that endeavor we have reached uh, number 40 in our last video and in this video we will start from 41 okay so this is a previous year question paper related to English literature so we will try to solve it and without further delay let's discuss it the question is in which book of paradise lost do we find the following lines paradise lost it is an epic poem written by john milton it is known as one of the greatest epic poems written in english literature that's why you must know about it you have to read about it too apart from that you must also know uh, who is the poet what he has done what are his what are his works and his biographical sketches? okay so let's try to find out uh, the answer of this question satan now first influence with rage came down the temper the temper the accuser of mankind to wreck on innocent frail man his loss 
of that first battle and his fight to hell. So these are the lines from which book of the Paradise Lost. We all know Paradise Lost has uh, 10, 12 books. Okay. So we have to find out the correct answer of this question. The correct answer is book 4. In book 4 this line appears. Got it? Okay. Now let's move on to our next question. It is 42. It says who coined the term queer studies? So queer studies uh, is a very relevant area of study nowadays and many people have done research on this area and it has been uh, a very constant issue in our literary field. Therefore you have to also know about queer studies who has formulated or propagated queer theory and what are the queer literary works who are the queer literary writers or theorists that you have to know but before that let's try to know about this who coined the term queer studies Teresa de Loretis, Judith Butler, Bell Hooks, Gloria Anzaldua so correct answer of this question will be 42a this is the correct answer Teresa de Loretis number 43 it says uh, in romantic criticism the theory of organic unity was articulated by whom in romantic criticism the theory of organic unity was articulated by whom Thomas Law Peacock, Percy Bysshe Shelley, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, William Wordsworth. These all are uh, notable literators. So you have to know about them. So what will be the correct answer? In Romantic Criticism, the theory of organic unity was articulated by number C, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He is known for his famous works like uh, Kubla Khan, The Rhyme of Ancient Mariner, uh, like that next which Shakespearean character spoke the following lines so since you all know about Shakespeare what he has done and what his work uh, have achieved since its inception okay so you have to know each and every character of Shakespearean drama or sonnets got it so this is a line i am determined to prove a villain who said this line or uh, in which play it was said correct answer is 44 b that is richard three so this is a historical play okay there you you will get the character richard <clears throat> uh, next question 45 it says which play of Shakespeare took Giraldi Cynthius Gil Hecatomothi Gil Glee sorry Glee Hecatomothi as its source? Options are like this Coriolanus, Othello, Titus, Andronicus, All's Well that Ends Well. What is the correct answer? These all plays are important for you since you are preparing. Therefore, I request you, you to go through all this place. Correct answer will be number B, that is Othello. Othello. Got it? Okay. Let's move on. Number 46, it says, match the authors in list A with their works in list B. In list A, we have playwright's name and is uh, in list B, we have uh, their works name. Play or playwright, I am sorry for that because I am little bit confused. Let's assume it as a literary work. Thomas Decker, B. Mountain Fletcher, John Lilly, George Pele. Philaster, The Arrangement of Paris, All for Fortune Task, Love's Metamorphosis. So these kind of questions are often repeated match the author in list A with their books in list B or works in list B this kind of question so please solve as much question as po po possible 
So correct answer of this question will be that that is B. That means Thomas Decker will be related to three old Forge, uh, Fortunatus B1, B. Mond and Fletcher, Philaster, C4, John Lilly, Loves, Metamorphosis, D2, George Pelley, The Arrangement of Paris. Got it? Number B is the right question. Oh, sorry, right, right answer of, the, of this question. Number 47, we have a very interesting question. It says, a dead metaphor is what? A dyer's, a cliche, a slang, a dull expression. Slang means you all know. Slang means which is not often used uh, in our formal conversation. That's slang. And cliche means that is overly used. Overly used words or phrase or sentence or ideas. That, that is called cliche. Dull means you, you all know. Dyers means what? Uh, I have no idea about it. So please try to search about it. So correct answer will be cliche. Okay. Cliche is the correct answer, a cliche. Next question. <clears throat> Number 48, it says, match the dramas in list A with their authors in list B. In list A, we have Haya Vadana, uh, the, uh, the Sleepwalkers, Harvest, The Burden, list B, Nisim Ezekiel, T.P. Kalasam, Giris Karnan, Manjula Padmanabha, Padmanabhan. So, let's try to know the correct answer. Correct answer will be A, that means Hayabhadana is related to Girish Karnan. I hope you know about him. Girish Karnan is uh, a prominent Indian playwright uh, and he was also an actor and he died some years ago, if I'm not wrong, and he has acted in many Hollywood, not Hollywood, Bollywood films uh, like Tiger Zinda Hai. So dear to you will see him. And Girish Karnan is known for his theater and, and his theatrical works. And you must know about his literary works. Okay. And uh, I have read his one play. If I'm not wrong, that play is written by him. And that is, uh, what was the play name? Girish, uh, wait, wait, wait. Mm, Ghasiram Kotwal. Okay. Uh, like that he has written so many works and you have to know ab about them because he belongs to Indian uh, playwright area okay that's why you have to know and then uh, B2 the sleepwalkers related to TP Kalasam C3 oh wait 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 uh, number 48 correct answer will be a sorry Hayavadana is related to Giris Karnan and B1, the sleepwalker, is re related to Nisim Ezekiel. Nisim Ezekiel is known for his poems. I think you have read his poem uh, called The Night of the Scorpion. C4, Harvest, Manjula, Padman, Padmanavan, D D2, The Burden is written by T.P. Kailasam. Got it? Now I think it is clear. Okay, next question. It says, who institutionalize, who institutionalize cultural studies? Okay, cultural studies is a very popular studies, study area nowadays, right now in our contemporary society. So you have to also know about it. Try to read a books related to cultural studies and try to know who were the writers or who were the people who uh, pioneered this field. So let's come back to our question. Who institutionalized cultural studies at the Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies at the Bir Birmingham University? Uh, so Stuart Hall, Richard Hoggart, Raymond Williams, Richard Johnson. What is the correct answer? Correct answer will be B, that is Richard Hogarth. Richard Hogarth was the person who had done this magnificent job. Number 50, it says, Who among the following said, What has been longest known has been most considered and what is most considered is best understood? Alexander Pope, John Dryden, Joseph Addison, Samuel Johnson, all writers are prominent okay they are known 
for their literary contributions hence it is your duty to know about their works so that you can solve a question okay in the exam let me repeat the question who among the following said what has been longest known has been most considered and what is most considered is best understood number d is the correct answer that is said by samuel johnson dr samuel Jan johnson okay mm. now let's move on number 51 it's a bit long question given below is a statement followed by two assumptions choose the correct option with respect to the assumptions so first we have got statement okay then we have got assumption then according to assumption and statement we have to find out the correct answer also, well, let me read it Aldous Huxley W.H. Arden and Christopher Isherwood all emigrated to the United States and took American citizenship this is a statement okay then we have got assumption in assumption it says they faced hostile criticism in Britain because of their pro-fascist views fascist means you all know uh, one who uh, rules through power through uh, uh, his uh, you can say military power okay like hitler uh, through gun power so it's pro-fascist then second is saying they faced hostile criticism in britain because of their anti-war views what, what is the correct answer we have two uh, assumptions so correct answer will be um, it will be c that means uh, they face hostile criticism in Britain be be because of their pro-fascist views. This is false, but second, they face hostile criticism in Britain because of their anti-war views or anti-war views. So th this is the correct answer. Got it? This is not correct. This is not correct. This, this is the correct answer. Number 52, we have got which two poets belonging to the group known as the movement were also novelist which two poets belonging to the group known as the movement were also no novelist john wayne and kingsley amis donald dave and kingsley amis elizabeth jennings and kingsley amis dj enright and kingsley amis so uh, kingsley amis it has been re repeated in all options that means it is correct now we have to find out the other correct answer or the option so correct answer will be john wayne and kingsley amis okay so these are the two poets who belong to the group known as movement and they were also novelist uh, number 53 we have got it says what is uh, a feminine rhyme you must have known about feminist literary theory their works okay and how they have evolved hmm, that thing you have to know and if if you haven't then go through it options are the rhyme pattern often used by women poets uh, b an unstressed syllable at the end of a line c words with two or more rhyming syllables d a pause which follows an unstressed syllable what is the correct answer correct answer is c that means words with two or more rhyming syllables number 54 it says who wrote the great tradition it's a famous work who wrote the great tradition lionel trilling harold bloom raymond williams fr Lewis. correct answer is fr Lewis. he is known for his literary theory and his literary criticism works and if you haven't read him and read his works you must do it right now right away next question it says name the critical theory which attempts to 
क्रिटिक द ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्रिविलेजिंग स्पीच ओवर राइटिंग सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू लिटरेरी थ्योरी एंड लिटरेरी थ्योरी सो दिस कैन बी लिटिल बिट टफ इफ यू डू नॉट हैव एक्सप्लिसिट कॉन्सेप्ट देयर फॉर आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू फर्स्ट नो द फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ओके देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू डाइव डीप इन टू द डीपर कॉन्सेप्ट ओके एंड यू कैनॉट एवॉड लिटरेरी थ्योरी इट विल कम फॉर श्योर एंड लिटरेरी थ्योरी आर ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर प्रेगमेटिक यूज ऑफ लिटरेचर प्रेगमेटिक परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ लिटरेरी वर्कस इट हेल्प इट एसिस्ट आस ओके सो नेम द क्रिटिकल थ्योरी विच एटेम्स टू क्रिटिक द ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ प्रिविलेजिंग स्पीच ओवर राइटिंग स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म यू हैव टू नो वाट दिस इज डी कन्स्ट्रक्शन न्यू क्रिटिसिजम राशियन फर्मेलिजम करेक्ट एन्सार इज स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म दिज आर वेरी इम्पर्टेन्ट आई होप यू आंडार यू उल आंडारस्टेन्ड एंड यू उल ट्राई टू रीड एबाउट इट नम्बर फिफ्टी सिक्स इट सेज उच अफ द फलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज ट्रु वी हेव गिवेन फोर स्टेटमेंट्स नाउ उ हेव टू फाइन आउट द करेक्ट एन्सार अफ द सेट स्टेटमेंट द किंग लियर टेक्स हेज ओनलि वन क्वारो भार्जन प्रायर टू टू द फार्स्ट फोलिओ भार्सन सो किंग लियर इज ए ट्रेजेडी इट्स एबाउट एज यू हेव सीन फ्रम द टाइटल इट सेल्फ एबाउट किंग लियर एंड हिज डाटर हाउ हि हेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड हिज वेल्थ टू हिज डाटर्स एंड वाट रेमिफिकेशन हि हेज गट आफ्टर डेट सो इट्स ए ट्रेजेडी so uh, a we have read now b shakespeare seems to borrow the subplot of gloucester and his son sons from the obits metamorphosis c king lear is the longest of shakespeare's plays d the complete oxford edition pins the quarto and folio text as two separate plays the first as chronicle history the second as tragedy correct answer is d that is the complete oxford edition prints the quarto and folio texts as two separate plays the first as chronicle history the second as tragedy got it remember it and always try to connect the dot without connecting the dot oh, no matter how many times you appear in the exam you will always be disappointed you will never be able to excel or you will never be able to qualify okay this is a universal truth indeed a hard truth to be accepted okay now let's move on 57 it says which of the following novels of david malouf david malouf is set against the backdrop of world war 2 world war 2 literary works you must know remembering babylon the conversations sorry the conversations at carlo creek jonno uh, and imaginary life 57 jonno is the correct answer so this work is written by david malouf that is based on the back, uh, on world war 2 number 58 it says match the indian english novelist in list a with their novelist in list b in list a we have anuradha roy jit thail arvin adiga arvin adiga i hope you have heard his name he is known for his works like uh, what was the work name uh, the white tiger the white tiger is also adapted into a hollywood movie okay and uh, in netflix that is available if you haven't watched it then watch it it's a uh, awesome movie based on this novel written by uh, aravin adiga 
and uh, I have watched that movie. I have seen that the director of the movie has almost done the justice. Okay, it's quite magnificent. Uh, whatever has been depicted in the book, the director has tried to uh, bring that alive through the characters, through his directions. You must watch it. And then Kunal Basu. So, and in Lisbon, we have Last Man in Town, the mini miniaturish and uh, Atlas of Impossible Launching, the book of chocolate scenes. What, we, what is the correct answer? Correct answer will, will be D, that means A3. Anuradha Roy. Anuradha Roy is related to an Atlas of Impossible Launching before Jit Thail. The book of chocolate scenes. C1, Arabin Adiga, Last Man in Town, Kunal Basu, The Miniaturist. Sorry for the pronunciation. Okay, next. Number 59. It is to match the following question. Match the author in list A with the work in this B. These kinds of questions are repeated frequently. Okay. So... In this kind of question, don't be hurry. Hmm. First, you try to connect the dots. So, we have in list B, we have a dramatist name like Sophocles, Essiclis. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, through my reading, I have tried to pronounce it. Please verify it. Huh? So, do not take it in face value. Then we have C, Euripides, Euripides or Euripides, then Seneca. Then we have in list B, seven against tabs, Hippolytus, Philoctetes, Phonese, Phonese, very hard to pronounce for me, uh, 59. Uh, so, number A is the correct answer. Sophocles, A3. Sophocles, uh, Philoctetus, B1, uh, Asiclus, 7 against Taps, C, Euripides, 2, Hippolytus, D4, Seneca, uh, Phonice. Hmm. Got it? 59 a let me mark it correct okay now we will move on after moving on we have got this question it says which among the novels listed below does not deal with the emergency in india so i hope you know the history of emergency in india how emergency was imposed on india and how it had impacted on people how our democracy was kind of in peril at that time you have to know first you know the history why emergency was declared by indira gandhi and how it has impacted common people education world or printing or journalism or whatever you just go through it so we have this kind of works the great indian novel midnight children journey to ithaca a fine balance c journey to ithaca this is written uh, by whom i i don't know please go through it so this novel uh, does not deal with emergence in india but other works like the great indian novel midnight children a fine balance and these all are uh, related to uh, emergency in India. Next. Which character in Dryden's Absalom and Achitophel is identified with Charles II? I hope you know who is Charles I. Then only you will get to know about Charles II. And they are relate, uh, Charles II is related to restoration area uh, sorry era of uh, english literature options are absalom david akitofel 
Barzilai. Correct answer is B. Debit. Debit is the correct answer. 62. Bit long. Which of the following statements is true? Which of the following statements is true? The Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in August 9, 1641. It is related to literary history of restoration period and Puritan period. The Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in August 1641. The Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in se September 1642. The Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in July 1640. The Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in March 1645. So correct answer is number B. You have to remember it. Okay. And uh, John Milton was also related to Pur Puritan age. His paradise lost. In that work, he has tried to uh, delineate that element. If you read, you will get to know. But though it is metaphorically, symbolically, so the correct uh, option is uh, the Puritan government stopped the performance of plays in uh, dramas in September 1642. Remember that date. September 1642. Next, who said that the novel is a literary form of transcendental homelessness? Who said that the novel is a literary form of transcendental homelessness? So there is a uh, significant and notable movement called Transcendentalism. Uh, it may be re related to American literature. Please go through it. Transcendental homelessness. So who said this? Correct answer is A. George Lucas. He said this thing. Number 64. It says, which figure of speech is defined as follows? A deliberate inversion of the normal word order especially for the sake of emphasis hyperbaton hyperles hyperbole handy it is so figure of speech speeches are also important for our preparation without knowing figure of speeches it will be quite uh, problematic for us yes It, yeah. oh. for the sake of emphasis so correct answer will be a hyper baton okay that's all for today thank you so much hello viewers i have been actually we have been we have been talking we have been discussing about uh, english literature some mcqs which will be helpful for our net preparation or SLAT or PhD in English entrance test or SLAT exam of different states of India. So in that endeavor, we have reached uh, number 65 today. So without any delay, let's begin our discussion. Identify the figure of speech in the following line. We shaped our culture and our, our culture shaped us. So this is a line and this is a figure of speech. Now we have to identify that figure of speech. Number A saying hyperbaton. Number B saying uh, chiasmus. Sorry for the pronunciation. Number C anaphora. Number D uh, asyndeton. Hmm? So what is the correct answer? Correct answer of this question will be B that is chiasmus. Uh, the pronunciation may vary. And I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I will try to learn. Okay. Now let's move on to our next question. It says, There have been several descriptions of Indian writings in English. Match the author critics in list A with their comments in list B. So in list A, we have uh, author and critics. And in list B, we have their comments. Okay. What kinds of comments they have done? 
uh, R.K. Narayan, you all know, uh, he is an Indian writer uh, in English, then Salman Razdi, then Tabis Kher, and then Frederick Jameson. These all writers are important, therefore, it is your duty to know their uh, literary works, how they have impacted uh, Indian English, and you should also know their biography because many questions are often asked related to writer's biography. Then in list B, we have comments, what kind of comments they have done, like Babu, Fictions, National Allegories, Toasted English, then Chutnification. Okay? So, what will be the correct answer of 66? Correct answer of 66, it will be B. That means A is related to 3. R.K. Narayan has said English is a toasted English. Okay. Uh, Indian English is a toasted English. Then uh, B4, Salman Razdi has said chutnification. C1, Tabiz Kher has said babu fiction. And D, Frederick Johnson has said uh, national allegories. These all are important. I hope you will go through them. Okay, now let's jump on to the next question. It says, according to Jean Bandrillard, the precision of simulacra is one of the following. So, let me repeat the question. According to Jean Bandrillard, the precision of simulacra is one of the following. A. Mimetic representation of the real. B. Representation that precedes and determines the real C. Misrepresentation of the mass-produced image as real D. Parody of the real Okay, this question is little bit different, okay, but it is related to literary theory Therefore, you have to know about the lit 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 uh, literary theories too So, the uh, correct option uh, for this question, it will be B, that is representation that precedes and determines the real Okay, it is related to uh, Jean Bandillard's The Precession of Simulac Simulacra. Next question, it says, Who wrote the famous book, Letters from T Turkey, giving a picturesque description of, the, of life and manners in the Ottoman Empire? So, uh, I think you have heard Ottoman Empire. It's one, one of the greatest empire in the world, uh, which is based in Turkey. So now we have to find out who wrote the famous book called Letters from Turkey, which gave a picturesque description of life and manners in the Ottoman Empire. So our authors are Lady Mary Worley Montagu, B. Lady Elizabeth Montagu, C. Elizabeth Justice, D. Elizabeth uh, Struth. So what is the correct answer? Correct answer of this question is number A. That, that is Lady Mary Worley Montagu. Got it? Okay. Now, let's move on to our next question. It says, in which work do we find the following sentence? So, this is the sentence. Uh, now, we have to read this sentence. So, let's read it. It is the honorable characteristics of poetry that its materials are to be found in every subject which can interest the human mind. So, this is a remarkable statement. Okay, but uh, this statement is taken from which work? Which literary works? Options are the study of poetry, B. Lyrical ballads, C. Biographia literaria, D. The hero as poets. All are Im important. Now let's try to find out the correct answer of this question. 69 correct an answer is B. Okay. B is the correct answer. Lyrical ballad. I hope you know. Ly lyrical ballad. It was published by. Uh, actually it was collaboratively or jointly published by. William Wordsworth and S. T. Collieries. Okay, and that was the beginning of English Romantic period in English literature. If I'm not wrong, but please verify. Okay, now next question. It says, which of the following is not a campus novel? Uh, I have heard for the first time about the campus novel. So please do your own research. Now we have to find out which of the following is not a campus novel. Lucky Jim, Decline and Fall, The History Man, Nice Work, 70. Correct answer will be B, that is Decline and Fall. This is the correct answer. Next, next question we have, it says, which of the following plays 
sorry which of the uh, follow, following drama or plays is not a city comedy the shoemaker's holiday a mad world my masters a chest made in a cheap side a woman kill with kindness all plays are important you must know about them in detail go go through it 71 correct answer would be d there is a woman kill with kindness okay now let's move on to our next question it says 72 which author said i want to produce a feminine equivalent of the current masculine realism so who said this statement or line dorothy richardson uh a nice nin simon de Beauvoir, virginia wolf 72 so correct answer will be a that is dorothy richardson got it dorothy richardson i hope you know about her okay uh, now let's move on to the next question it says who among the following philosophers did not influence black william black you must have known his name uh, a notable poet from if i'm not wrong he was too from romantic age if i'm not wrong i may be wrong so please do your own research okay options are emmanuel uh, swedenborg saint augustine c parcelas d jacob bohmi 73 correct answer will be b that is saint augustine number 74 it says which of the following is not a principle of deep ecology deep ecology this is a relevant as well as often discussed themes okay so what is deep ecology you have to know that so do your own research it is also related to literary theory now we have to find out in this question that which of the following is not a principle of deep ecology so many options are here like number eight it says engage in specific and environmental issues of pollution conservation uh, etc in the protection of human interest b maintaining ecological and cultural diversity c human being as ecological self and believer of biocentric egalitarianism d deeply impatient and ethical engagement of the scientists with nature what is the correct answer but here it is saying not a principle okay only one will be wrong and rest are all all will be re related to the principles of deep ecology got it now okay so correct answer will be a okay this is the correct answer but apart from this b c and d these all are related to the principle of deep ecology now let's try to reread this line which is the answer of our question engage in specific environmental issues of pollution conservation etc uh, in the protection of human interest so this is not the principle of deep ecology let's move on next question it says who wrote the practice of everyday life who wrote the practice of everyday life so this kind of question you will get in abundance okay ma uh, michelle P uh, Peshuk, very hard to pronounce for me uh, michelle the sir certain michelle fuku M michelle girox correct answer is d michelle girox the, this is the way i pronounce i'm sorry for that okay next question it says who wrote the principles of geology which had a significant influence on the literature of the victorian period francis galton charles lille Liel, john cable charles darwin correct answer of this question is number b that is charles Liel. let me repeat it it says who wrote the principles of geology which had a significant influence on the literature of the victorian period let's move on to next question our next question is which of the following works by amitabh ghosh is a novel Amitabh Ghosh, you must have re read his famous work called The Shadow Lines. Okay, now we have to find out which of the following works by Am Amitabh Ghosh is a novel. In an antique land, count down the circle of reason, the imam and Indian. Correct answer is C, the circle of reason. This is a novel written by him. Next, what according to Aristotelian poetics is the first and foremost quality to be expected in the 
protagonist of tragedy what according to aristotle in poetics it's a famous work you must read is the first and foremost quality to be expected in the protagonist of tragedy that he must obey the god that he must be great that he must be good that he must be heroic what is the correct answer correct answer of this question is c that is that he must be good let's move on to next question next question it says uh, given below are statements two of which are false choose the correct option so like this you will get so many questions be prepared okay freud and jung are both essentialists in framing their theories of psychoanalysis both Freud and Jung were concerned with the collective unconscious. Lacan was indebted to Jung in developing his psychoanalytic formulations. Lacanian psychoanalytic theory is post in its orientation. 1 and 2 are false, 2 and 3 are false, 3 and 4 are false, 1 and 4 are false. So here we have to find out the false one. Correct answer will be what? Correct answer will be B, that is 2 and 3 are false and rest are okay. Okay, 2 and uh wait 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 79 correct answer will, will be b yes 2 and 3 will be wrong uh, but uh, 1 and 4 will be correct number 80 it says which novel by william faulkner william faulkner is a notable novelist you have to know uh, his work so here the question is which novel by William Faulkner deals with the history of Stupens 100 as I lay dying light in August the sound and the fury Absalom Absalom 80 correct answer will be D Absalom Absalom you must read but the apart from this these all the rest works like as I lay dying light in August the sound and the fury these all are also very uh, noteworthy so go through it next 81 it says the statement that imagination dissolves differences dissipates in order to recreate relates to what let me repeat it the statement that imagination dissolves differences dissipates in order to recreate relates to what wordsworth's theory of imagination Shelley's theory of imagination Coleridge's theory of imagination black's theory of imagination got it 81 correct answer of 81 number question will be number c that is called this theory of imagination this is very important please remember and if you want to uh, know further about it then you must do deep study uh, it will be what number 82 it says which of joseph conrad's novels deals with the political conflict over a silver mine in south african country joseph conrad you must have read his uh remarkable work called uh what was the name i have forgotten the heart of darkness that's a remarkable work written by him which deals with colonialism uh, and how africans were treated by the english people and how africans were exploited but both narratives you will get Okay, now let's try to find out this. Lord Jim, uh, Almire's Folly, Nostromo, The Nigger of Nar Narcissus. 82, correct, correct answer of this question will be C, that is Nostromo. This work deals with the political conflict over a silver mine in South Af American country. South American country. Next. Which among the following list of Henry James fictional works is considered to be a ghost story? Henry James, you must have uh, read his works. So the question is, which among the following list of Henry James fictional works is considered to be a ghost story? A. The Turn of the Screw B. The Bostonians C. What Maisie Knew D. The Golden Bowel 83 correct answer of this question is uh, a the turn of the screw the turn of the screw remember it it will help you okay next we have who translated Giris Karnan's Yayati originally re written in Kannada into English um, I'm sure you have read 
Kirish Karnan's work. He is known for his plays, especially based on Indian mythology. So the question is, who translated Girish Karnan's Yayati, originally written in Kannada, into English? B. B. Karnat, U. R. Anantha Murthy, A. K. Ramanujan, Girish Karnad. 84. Correct answer of this question will be D. Girish Karnan himself has translated it into English from his own mother tongue, Kannada. Kannada, you all know, Kannar, Kannar language from Karnataka. Next question, who wrote the following? The language of the age is never the language of poetry. The language of the age is never the language of poetry. That is true, right? So, whenever a poet writes a poem or composes a poem or creates a poem, then you can uh, see that uh, the, the poet always tries to write in a way that is never written before. Okay, it happens. So that line is quite relevant. So let's try to find out this line's um, creator. Who wrote the following? The language of the age is never the language of poetry. William Wordsworth, S. T. Coleridge, Thomas Gray, P. B. Sally. Correct answer of this question is number C. Thomas Gray. Thomas Gray is also a significant poet uh, from England. So, read it. Hmm? Next. 86, it says, who can be credited with the observation that even Homer sometimes nods? Homer, you must have read his works. is known for his epic works. Okay. So, who can be cre credited with the observation that even Homer sometimes nods? Plato, John Dryden, Dr. Samuel Johnson, Horace. Correct answer of this question is number D, Horace. Horace, he is also... A known figure, hmm, celebrated figure. 87, given below is an assertion that there is A in the bracket and reason R in the bracket. Choose the correct option from the quotes. Assertion is saying, Longinus' theory of genius is an anticipation of the romantic notion of the poet. Reason, it privileges erratic genius over flawless and impeccable mediocrity. Quotes are, A is true while R is false. A is false while R is true, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. A and R are both false. What do you say? What is the correct answer of 87? Correct answer of 87 is C. Both A and R are true, but R is the explanation of A. Means correct. Correct explanation of A. 88. It says the female enance. Sorry, not enance. Eunuchs. According to me, the way I have pronounced, it may be wrong, so please verify. The female Eunuchs is writ written by Judith Butler, Hannah Arand, Simon de Beauvoir, German Greer. 88. Correct answer of this question is German Greer. She has written it called the female e Eunuchs. 89. It says, who wrote the following? The parts of a composition may be poetical without the composition as a whole being a poem. The parts of a composition may be po poetical without the composition as a whole being a poem. William Wordsworth, S. T. Coleridge, P. B. Shelley, William Hazlitt, 89. Correct answer of this question is P. B. Shelley. Parsi Barsi Shelley, you must have read his poems. If you have not, do it right now. Otherwise, it will put you in a trouble situation in the exam not in other place okay next question 90 it says the to burn always with this hard gem like flame to maintain this uh, ecstasy success in life is from which of the following works to burn always with this hard gem like flame to maintain the ext uh, ext ecstasy success in life is from which of the following works Marius the Epicurean, the Renaissance, modern painters, unto this last. So, correct answer of this question will be 90 is a B, that is the Renaissance. The Renaissance period, though it may not be re related to that, but I'm just referring it 
so that you uh, should know about it next question 91 it says identify the patron to whom the largest number of horace's oaths are addressed identify the patron to whom the largest number of horace's oaths are addressed Virgil, augustus messianus philo correct answer of this question is messianus next 92 it says in which book of enid does enias organize the funeral games organize uh, for the anniversary of uh, an and Caesar's death book 4 book 6 book 5 book 2 correct answer is number c book 5 hey, wait 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 book 5 that is c now next next it says which among the following authors wrote the play back at b e c k e t robert browning oscar wilde Algernon Charles Swinburne, Al Al Alfred Lord Tennyson, 93. Uh, correct will be Alfred Lord Tan Tennyson. He has also written and composed so many poems. You must read. Uh, okay, and he has written this play called Beckett. Next question it says The theory that an act of poetic creation implies a misreading of an earlier poet was developed by whom? The theory that an act of poetic creation implies a misreading of an earlier poet was de developed by Paul de Man, Norman Holland, David Blige, Harold Bloom. All are, all are a very, very, very celebrated names. You must know them. 94, the correct answer of this question will be number D, that is Harold Bloom. Harold Bloom, you must have heard there is a one name, Orlando Bloom a Hollywood actor who has done marvelous acting in a movie called Troy. You must watch that movie to gain more understanding about uh, Greek myth mythology. Okay, leave it. Let's now move on to the next question. It says, who among the following is not a Kit sorry, which among the following is not a kitchen sink play? Kitchen sink play, kitchen sink, uh, kitchen sink drama. This is a very, very important uh, literary topic for you. Okay, um, there are so many works written in this genre. That's why you have to know. And uh, in kitchen, kitchen sink play, most of the things are based in the kitchen. Uh, they are struggling for food uh, despite being highly educated they are um, saddled for very little money money because they have no other options left uh, so and they have all, uh, always tried to depict that are very funda fundamental things uh, so it's like uh, depicting uh, unemployment okay is, is especially in the english society yeah, through the drama and those are based in the very general or working class pe people's society and life so let's try to find out which is the correct answer bedroom first look back in anger at test of honey roots what is the correct answer correct answer will, will be a bedroom first So here, sorry, the question was this, which among is not a kitchen sink play? All are kitchen sink play, like roots, a taste of honey, look back in anger, all are, except bedroom parts. Okay, last question we have, last or what? Okay, we have left some question, let's try to do that, but let's try to finish this. Did not great Julius bleed for justice sake? Who said these words? Cassius, Mark, Antony? okay and brutus octavius so c will be the correct answer brutus so we have left so many questions now let's try to solve it which artistic movement is ezra pound pound most commonly associated ezra pound american writer you must have known so correct answer of 96 it will be d that is imagism imagism 
uh, apart from that surrealism impressionism expressionism you must know all about it 97 choose the option that matches correctly the authors in list a with works in list b in list a we have Gorigio, Vasri, King James I, Dante, Erasmus uh, and in list B we have options like this. I will not read all. Let's try to find out the correct answer of this question. Correct answer will be A that is A4. Gorgio Vasari is related to four the lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors and ar architects. B1 King James I uh, is related to demonology. Uh, C2 Dante, v Vita Nova. Uh, D. Erasmus III, Handbook of a Christian Knight. 98, it says, who coined the term, the implied author. Very important. You must know, you must know this concept, implied author. Who coined this term? Percy Lubbock, David Lotz, F.R. Lewis, Wayne Booth. The correct answer of this question is D. Wayne Booth. Okay, so you must know. So that's all for today's uh, video. And I hope you have been doing your best and please solve as much mcq possible huh. otherwise it will be pretty difficult for you okay all the best thank you so much bye bye